Oh my god, we can name them all. Okay, so they have uh, they all have a they all have skills associated with them. Great. Let's try not to spend too much time on this. So this can be wander by. And blue, instead of being flashy, will be oh my god, he has a big afro. <laughs> okay. Uh so that's the character name, uh, and that doesn't change the... Interesting, so there's also these... There's also like a background character and stuff. They're, this is getting really in-depth. Cool, I'm liking this. They really they really said that they were going to... Uh, that, they, that there was gonna be like an interesting character or like character building going on, and I'm totally digging it already. Okay, so the Blue Ranger should be named... Okay, we named, named the Wanderbot, so the Blue Ranger should be named... This is also what I imagine Wanderbot looks like. We need to... No, wait. Wander is a bit of a redhead. A rat. Evan Tyson. What is that? Like the, uh, the, the brother of Mike Tyson? Okay, well, we're going to... What, what, which person looks most like Wander? Okay, yeah, that looks most like Wander. You want... Yeah, you have to name one of me. You want blue? Yeah, you got blue. Not, not a problem. Okay, Dolph. Fine, Nick. Anarchy. I am not above fan service, and I assume that you. Let's let's uh, let's try to figure out what you look like. Uh, this person. No, no, no. You know what? Yeah, this is this is you, Delphonic. That's perfectly it. We're gonna save red, the leader for the last. Okay. So now we have our our black ranger, who's apparently a woman. Uh, that's fine by me. Oh, we can change the color too. Well, we gotta stick with the traditional colors, you know what I'm saying? Alright. So, Black Ranger. What can we name Black Ranger? We can name her, um... Keith Wilson. And... That... I think I already used that person. Yep, okay, that looks, that looks like Keith. And... For this person, they'll be... They'll be Rockwar. Rock, they'll be Rockwar. They'll, they'll be Rockwarian. There we are, that combines both of them. And they are obviously... Minus, minus one movement for a scout seems pretty stupid. I don't think I'm gonna go with that. That... Uh, that does not seem like a good idea. Alert Johnson? Uh, oh, Johansson. Okay. Let's just pretend I didn't say, anything to say that. Okay. Um... So then the, the, red the Red Ranger needs like a, a cool, like, American badass name. So they need to be named like Axel Punch. No, not Axel Punch. Axel But Oh, I'm gonna name one Ladybird? Okay. So the leader of the squad is Ladybird. Yay! <laughs> Perfect. There we are. We have fan serviced everybody. Uh, except for myself. And I'm kind of okay with that. So, backstory of everybody. Oh, oh, this, a calm artist and a musician. See, that that's perfectly Wander. Yeah. Um, Delphonic Anarchy, you're a basketball star. Yeah, that, that makes sense with what I know about you. Um, this person's Asian, so it kind of works out. Um, expert in boxing, Keith Wilson. Mm. Yeah, I can't even. Passionate defender of technology. Yeah, he's a nerd. That works out. Okay. And I'm gonna assume that Rock Warrior looks exactly like that. Let's go! Okay, I'm about to confirm the legally distinct Mounties. That uh, they are what a what a what a great team. We're not gonna go with the actors. I we don't we probably don't have enough money to really afford anything useful in the shop. Never mind, we can pour a crap ton of stuff in the shop. Toy sword and toy pistols. I don't know. They already so who Everybody has a melee attack, um, and also the toy pistols are really expensive. So we're not going to worry about that too much. Let's just get, let's get the game rolling, you know. Um, oh, we can buy upgrades. Apparently, when did upgrades come into the picture? Did I click on a menu and not know it? Okay, so these are upgrades to get new uh, studio stuff. Oh, I see. So this is a menu that brings up customizing our home base. Got it. Got it. Got it. So, we don't, again, let's just, okay, well, well I, I, I don't know what good, what, if there's any good equipment or not. Let's buy, let's buy these, uh, let's buy armor for people who are likely going to get, uh, hit a lot. So, Ladybird can have armor, 
Wander can have the padded suit because that he's a skill-based character. And this person is a techie. They're probably not gonna hurt that much. This person the soul, they'll take the uh, the the beefier armor. Who the scout will give them the slightly less beefy armor. And everybody buys gloves, why not? Just quickly get through to equipping everybody. Uh, I think I'm not equipping any of these things. So buy and equip. I is, are these things being equipped? I don't know. This is a really interesting boy. If I, I'm afraid that if I click buy and equip, then it's going to actually just purchase it straight away, which it did. So we go to our actors. Maybe that's where we can do things like uh, equip stuff. That is correct. There we are. So we can give them. Okay, I forget what I got, everybody. So the padded suit is for the uh, is for the more is for the more. Um, what am I trying to think of? It's for the. Uh, it was for the people who aren't going to get hit as much, and the people who are going to get hit more often are going to be our melee people, so they'll take the comfy suits, which are a little bit beefier, and the scout will take the padded suit, and that used up most of our money, so that seems to be a reasonable thing to do. To the studio, studio upgrades, activate, all actors get 10 HP, so that heals everybody, that's not important. If I click on record, yep, that's how I get to the next uh, mission. I get to be a power rant, legally distinct Mountie. Yes, we have to make sure that we are legally distinct. The pilot episode for your own series today, Chroma Squad, will deal with a new threat that appeared near a science lab. Max audience 2800, director's instructions. Perform three team acrobatics, keep all actors above 50% health, defeat boss monster with a finishing move, defeat all minions before attacking the boss monster. So when I got this game, I thought that it would be more like they went out into the real world and did things. It looks like it's kind of like independent Power Ranger Studio Simulator RPG, which is weird. I like it. Season 1, Episode 1. I hit enter again, which fast forwarded, but it looks like it didn't matter. No, no. So what, what does a beaver sound like? Something like that, right? Yeah, great, but hold on. We should add a narrator. Don't start the action yet. Once a time a pine, uh, once upon a time, a group of heroes is born. Wait a think, Lady Bird. I heard that a good plot starts like that. Uh <laughs> I would have you voice act for this, but I can't. Actually, you wanna get over here and read this line? Which nah, one? it's too much work. Okay. I'll just I'll just pretend to be you. Uh <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna dig myself in a hole if I do that. Okay, so they'll just be generic like a hero. It's good, but it's spelled wrong, isn't it? Once upon a time. Oh, the guy who sold us the narrator software told me it's one of its quirks. We should just roll with it. His powerful teenagers are the last hope of humanity. And the first task is defend a science lab from an evil monster. Hmm, but aren't the, the minions kind of late? Where'd they go, Rockwarian? Hey, let's be getting dressed. Don't worry, let's just have fun with our new job, Smiley Face. Our colon, uh, closed parentheses. Alright, here they come. We will have a lot of editing to do later, Dolphonic Anarchy. Action! Noise. There. <laughs> so we're gonna fight these squirrel monsters, apparently. They're not even on the green screen anymore. Well, whatever. Holy crap, there's a lot of them. Hey, wow. Get ready for some action. Perform three team acrobatics, keep all actors above 50% health. So the acrobatics are just the movement based ones. We will go ahead and beat up this lame nutcracker apparently. And that did 45 damage, not quite enough to hurt him. But we shall get this person to do a teamwork. This is going to be a little bit arbitrary. We're playing on casual mode, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just use them to like do one of my acrobatics already, so that didn't work. That's a shame. Maybe I can do something like this. Uh, yeah, this'll, this'll allow me to, to move. There we are. Okay, so that was one acrobatic already taken care of. We'll see if I can... Nope, I can't champ a combo with him, but I will go ahead and attack them. Bird's female voices are on point. I'm sorry. Let me know if any of those get annoying, by the way. I would totally understand. Like, and I would really not be offended. <laughs> Let me... I will just... Believe me, I would I would totally understand if it was got annoying. <laughs> uh, I know they're also not for everybody, you know. Whatever. 
That's fine. So these enemies apparently also drop items. That's cool. We're gonna move over here, use our teamwork, just kind of artificially just do do a couple of things such that we can uh, make sure we get like our acrobatics and stuff like that. Chromatize. Click to transform into more powerful state. Hell yeah, I'm gonna do that. What is the, are we gonna combine our forces? Holy crap, we're about to combine our forces. Yes, pose up. Lights, camera, chromatize. Oh, cool. We get powers now. Um, we get guns. I don't remember actually having guns, but eh, whatever. We're not in the range to uh, to use the gun yet. But let's pull over here and let's just let's just fucking just be like clap clap clap. There we are. Nice. So okay, reduce cooldown from techie geek or whatever. That's cool. So the the uh, I need to do I need to move. Uh, heal a single ally. Oh, this is this is a healing spell. Is anybody really even hurt? Mm, I can't really tell. It looks like the that we're taking so little damage that it doesn't really matter. And I think also chromatizing must have healed all our characters. So the Hadouken. Oh, heal Duken. Ah, ha, 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 I read it. I, I figured it out now. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, indeed. Those cutscenes are awesome. <laughs> I missed. I'm super, I'm super lame. Stunning pose. Stun adjacent minions and daze adjacent bosses. It's a free action. So I should be able to do this and stun him. Nice pose. And then I should also be able to uh, hit him for maximum damage. Okay. That was it. I did the three team acrobatics. I kept all of actors about 50% health. Perfect win. After defeating the powerful aliens, while the squad was planning what to do next, something devious appears. <laughs> Oh crap, it's the boss. That has an amazing anti-drag method. I'll be great, keep it up. Crow, my squad, why did you have to mess up our visit to the science lab? You will face the consequences, but not right now. I'll come for you later. They fight a, they fight a guy who's carrying a street lamp, whatever. I forgot I forgot about this. Oh, here's the beaver. What is that, Reverend? It's none of your business. Whoa, who, who is the traffic light guy and where'd he go? Oh, come on, Rock Warrior, I'm acting. Go with the story. Uh, okay, but well, I don't know, Keith Wilson. I can't keep track of my scanner. That monster may strike again any minute now. Sarah Bro might have something to say. You're right, Wanderbot. We should go see Sarah Bro. <laughs> The raging hobo. <laughs> Chroma Squad heads to Cerebro's chambers. Cerebro? I can't really figure out how to pronounce it. They reach the place with a glorious teleportation effect. That was pretty glorious. Gotta admit. Ah, uh, crap. I forgot who this character was. Um, whatever. Wow, well, Delphonic Archie. I couldn't expect that you to render such a cool background with a chroma key. Me, yeah, this is much better than one I did. Better for us, huh? After everyone explains the situation to Cerebro. Why do they why do they want to do that research data so badly, Cerebro? They believe it is the key for them to unlock the power of time travel. This is not a power that anyone should have. Now return to your previous location. I am detecting a new threat. It's impressive to see the Cerebro device working. That's interesting, right? Chroma Squad heads back. The best thing about playing this game is that I don't have to actually come up with any commentary. I just read everything. The teleport effect is not ready yet. To the scene, running. <laughs> it's not ready yet. That's pretty great. Hey, where are the monsters? Can't wait to use my special poses. It's a, <laughs> it's a box. I'm late. How deep are we in the episode? Uh, deep enough. You're so late, boxing box. This won't happen again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Back to our lines then. I'll turn you into cardboard. Don't get me wrong, Keith Wilson. I'm cardboard. Minions, join me. More, more lame nutcrackers. These putties are great. Although that boxing box is pretty damn stupid. Wait, sir, boss. Watch out. 
<laughs> defeat boss monster with a finishing move. Defeat all minions before attacking the boss monster. Can do. Easy enough. And I see that the that the special power mode that I'm in has not worn off. That's great. Oh man, this music is so awesome. And this artwork is just fantastic. I love the everything is actually very smoothly animated in my opinion. Attack with your equipped sword, pull an enemy four tiles away in the adjacent position. Do perfect, that'll work. Eagle Lasso! And then we can attack with the equipped sword, like so. Oh, I see. So the swords and stuff are used for special attacks only. Okay, got it, got it. Makes sense. Yeah, they did just a absolutely beautiful job with all the animations and just everything that I've seen so far. Uh, one thing I find actually a little bit confusing if I were to be critical is that the music does not match up with the level of uh, the sound effects they have going on. Like, I feel like the sound effects have this really old school, like, 1993 feel to it, whereas the music, if I were to guess, is, uh, to me it sounds like a, a few years of technological progress later than that. I mean, that's a really, really minor point to make, I know. But I still, like, as somebody who knows a lot about, like, sounds and stuff like that, because I, I have made uh, sound effects for video games that have been released, um... I I just I, I can I can kind of feel uh, I can hear it and feel the difference a little bit and um, it somewhat throws me off. So we need to finish it. And to do that, we we learn this in the tutorial. We all just sit around and we do teamwork. One of our characters is stunned, unfortunately. That's going to make it a little bit more difficult to do this because I assume that her turn is going to be lost. Uh, yep. Okay. So I don't know. It's a turn for only one. It's a stun for only one turn. So we can go ahead and teamwork it up. So yep. And now it'll be the pink razor's turn. She can come in and do the final attack, and then we will uh, do our chroma power, and we'll get the full, the full uh, fan advantage or whatever I said I guess it is nice all right so at the top of the screen I think I saw a bar that fills up and as you do things you I don't know you like that the director says you get uh, you get those filled up those are like your objectives or something Arg! I have been recycled pew the, okay so he was the viewer Okay, this is the same voice, except I actually say the words. Monsters always come, but they find out the tracks of shop too enough for you. Oh, and when it comes back, we'll be there to stop it. To be continued. Well done, everybody. This episode's made quite a splash in the community.